Okay, hello. Here we are in our second video of this Friday, our two shorter sort of art activities. And this one, we're going to be using a toilet roll tube. Okay, a toilet roll tube, some wool or string. You can colour the string with a felted pen if you want different colours. Okay, some string. And again, some paints. Okay, some paints here. So, what we're going to do, okay, we're going to paint, first of all, our toilet roll tube the colour we want. Okay, or the colours we want, you might do different colours on it. Okay, but these are going to be our octopus bodies. Our octopus bodies. Okay, so this is our first one, and as if by magic, ta-da! I've created. It's quite dark, but like a purpley uh, octopus here. Okay, it's still a little bit wet, so you'll uh, see I'm handling it with a bit of care. But this is going to be our octopus body, and the first thing we want to do, okay, is um, take his top and just put. Once we've painted it, okay. Four little cuts down our top here. So I'm going to go about an inch. There we go. And you're going to go a quarter. So you're going to put one on here. Oh, let's see if we can get it a little bit better there. One on there, one at the top, one on this side, and one on the bottom. Okay, because you want it to be like you've got a cross in your toilet roll tube. I'm turning it kind of a quarter turn each time. And that one there. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold these down. Okay, I'll fold them in a little bit. To create kind of a top of our octopus. And you can use some, obviously they want to be about the same length ones, a couple of ones, or a little bit longer. So you can use some PVA glue, or you might have some double-sided sticky tape just to finish that top one off. Okay, I haven't at the moment. Okay, then we want to decorate the rest of our body. So what I'm going to do, I've got a slightly thinner brush here. I painted this with quite a thick brush uh, because it's quite a lot of space and I'm not doing a lot of detail. I'm just going to use some white. Okay, and I'm going to just do some lines. Ideally, I'd like a thinner brush. Just coming down his body a little bit. Remember to leave space because you're going to want some eyes somewhere as well. I'm just doing some little swirls here. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap down to the bottom. One more, just on this side here. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of wipe that white off a little bit, and I'm going to use some yellow, ideally if I can, get it on the edge of my brush, and I'm just going to put some little spiral of dots. You can decorate yours in any way you wish. Any way you wish. Because it's your octopus, your colours. much like spirals you might do actual spirals with a very fine brush okay yeah, put them on here I'm gonna just rub that yellow off if I can a little bit I'm gonna draw my white kind of white circles for the eyes however I'm gonna to have to wait for them to dry before I put my black in if you've got like googly eyes or things like that you might choose to put them on there as well Little bit like we'd have done our puffer fish eyes. I'm going to have to wait for those to dry before I do them. You might do an angry mouth or something on there as well. Okay. 
Then with the bottom, I'm going to put my paint away now. I'm going to take an ordinary hole punch. Okay. Now what we want to do is, as I've worked in my example here, okay, we want a hole punch around this bottom edge. Okay. Now how many you put in and the gaps between them is up to you. Okay. But you've got to be careful that you push your hole punch, as you can see I didn't here, that you push your hole punch in far enough. Okay, into your hole punch. So you need to think. Where does my hole punch come down to? Have a look and just see where it is. And then go merry with your hole punch. All right, and you end up with, you can see, some little holes. Turn them a little bit. All right, there's some holes here. that one to the uh, to the edge because obviously the closer they are to the edge the weaker that hole is going to be I'm trying to be careful of my designs there Ooh, that one's just broken okay so I'll leave that so I've done mine I put quite a gap between mine okay but you might choose to do them quite close together you might choose to put another one between those ones there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wool that's here. Again, you can cut this to whatever length you want, but you've got to remember you're going to fold it in half. Okay, so whatever length this is, it's going to be half the length when it's on your octopus. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to, like I say, fold it in half. We're going to poke this looped end through one of our holes. And then the open ends, so these ones here, you're just going to poke through that loop. And put it tight so that it hangs down. And there's one. Again, I'm going to fold it in half. Pull my loop tight. Through. Obviously, the tighter your loop, the easier it's going to be to poke through. Okay, pull that through there, and then pull them through and pull them down. Ooh, I can see where I've put some paint on the desk. I'll have to clean that off in a moment. So for all of your holes, you might use different colored wool. You can use different lengths of wool. Okay. You can choose, but for each of your holes, you're gonna put some wool hanging down from them. Okay. So put them there. So that then you'll have your, oh, right there, your octopus and your legs hanging off of it. Okay. Now, what you can do finally, if you've got a skewer, I'm not sure if my pencil, I'll try. Obviously, I haven't glued this down. Let's see if I can poke my pencil. I'll stab in my hand. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay. I've got it through a couple. But if you've got something that can poke a hole in the top of your octopus, what you can do is then use a piece of, again, a piece of string, okay, or wool that you've been using to hang through here, tie a knot in it, poke it up and poke it through, and then you'll be able to hang your octopus, okay, from wherever you want to hang them. You might have a whole family of octopus, or octopi, I think it is, if you've got them there. 
but obviously I'm going to put my pupils in my eyes and put maybe a little mouth underneath okay. but that is our two little art activities arty crafty activities for today okay I look forward to seeing them when they are done okay like I said you might pick both you might pick one okay but have fun making them okay have fun you might do them as a whole family okay take care and see you soon <laughs>